how can we use that information to our benefit when we're looking to invest? And I think that, that's a great question, right? Because it, what we have to do is we have to remove the, uh, the, the belief system, I call our BS, that averages really matter. And we need to start looking at what we contribute to the asset and what we're actually getting in return of net of fees, net of tax, net of all these different things to find out even from a cash flow perspective, right? In real estate, we have the expenses, we have, you know, all these different things. And we have to look at what our cap rates are and all these different things of what the actual return on the investment is versus just, you know, what the modeling portfolio might look like from an average perspective. And it's interesting. So, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So it's just, you know, even in the real estate space, and I'm sure you've seen this, Jay, right? Where people often think about what their returns are, but when they start to exp extrapolate all the expenses, the fees, and yes, the depreciation, sometimes they're like, man, this thing isn't, isn't as good as I thought it was. Exactly. So what I just heard you say or how to apply what you just taught us is, when you're looking at a potential investment, say in a mutual fund, in a, in a stock or any other type of investment opportunity, the person looking to sell you that investment opportunity is telling you the average rate of return. What I would implement based on what you just say is, okay, that's the average rate of return. What is the actual rate of return? And if they can't tell you, you probably don't want to do business with them, right? <laughs> That's right. And a lot of and a lot of these, you know, a lot of these deals with syndications and different things that we hear about, they'll 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 share what the the rate of return is. But if you put a future value calculator to it, you find out what the real numbers are, and it's 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 off. And not that it's a bad opportunity, but it's not what they're promoting as far as average, right? That's, and so. That's and so it's even, it even comes into play for when we look at, for me, I don't care what the rate of return on your money is, is I care what you can spend. So let me quantify that for a little bit, right? So let's just say that Jay, you're working with somebody, you go to advisor A and they're saying, okay, Jay, at retirement, you're gonna have $5 million in asset value, okay? You go to advisor B, they tell you they're gonna have $3 million of asset value at retirement. Well, which one are you led to believe you're gonna hire? The one, the larger amount. Yeah, the $5 million, right? But what if that $5 million is going to generate $200,000 to you in retirement, but it's all taxable mm. versus the 3 million is going to generate a hundred thousand, one hundred eighty thousand dollars tax exempt. Now, which number do you want? The 3 million, the 3 million. So what you just told me, Jay, is a lower rate return is better from a cash flow perspective in distribution. See, it's not just so much the asset value. It's what I can spend. But that's which not all what ties not. Into what's, which all ties in is when you're considering an investment, the big, one of the big questions is what is the tax consequence of that investment? Huge. And a lot of times that what we're, what we're taught to do is we're taught to put money into an account to lower our tax liability today. But all that's done is postpone the tax and the tax calculation to some date in the future. And if you believe what I believe that tax rates are only going to get higher, that's probably not a good decision. But see, what we're, what we're taught is that we hate paying taxes, right? So CPAs and other legal strategies, they'll, they'll want to do tax reductions to save the taxes the day, but it's not a tax savings. All it is is a postponement because you're, all you're doing is postponing the tax and the tax calculation to some date in the future, which could be more painful later on. And so it's Makes just sense. these things are the things that we just have to look at and help people navigate through as they make financial decisions no matter what they're doing.